Hello friends, it's Simone. I am going to share another ink swatching video today with you. I know there have been a lot recently, but this one is a tiny bit different because if you remember day 20 of my 30 inks 30 days uh, series in September, I used Andorillium Indigo Bunting Blue and it had gone not bad in the sense of moldy or something was, was wrong with the ink that it couldn't be used, but it was completely discolored. It was extremely light. And let me show you. I will also link it down in the description box. That it, this is what it looked like when I used it in September. And let's just quickly check what it looked like when I swatched it. Uh oh, it was even still in the small one. Andorillium Indigo Bunting Blue. Completely different inks. Still a light ink, but not as light as this one. So I contacted Andorillium and uh, reached out to them, let them know that this happened. I did not expect anything from them because it was just a two milliliter sample that I received through Ink Flight. And so I said, no, don't send the ink, it's fine. It, if you are aware and you changed everything, that's good for me to know. Um, and what would happen if somebody else had actually bought a bottle and they said, reach out, we'll make it right. Awesome. And then I said, however, if you would like me to show some of your inks on video, I'm really happy to, to do that. And they said, great. And then I never heard anything back until yesterday when I received a package. And not only did they send me the Indigo Bunting Blue in a 0.5 ounce bottle. They also sent me a full, let's say, sample set of their Lepidopteran series. And it comes super neatly packaged like this. There's also even a beautiful sticker on top that I already removed and put in my here. I haven't stuck it down, but I put it here. Um, it's a set of eight 0 0.5 ounce each um, of their, I think this is the newest series that they have, series of inks. And so, yeah, I decided, well then, that is, I need to swatch these and show them to you really quickly so that we can all see what their inks look like. At the San Francisco Pen Show, I remember swatching maybe three or using three and I thought they were amazing. I just did not go back because I was so overwhelmed, but I wish I had picked up some and now I got nine. So very excited for that. I did look up what 0 0.5 fluent ounces is in milliliters because that's uh, what most ink bottles come in. And so that is 15 milliliters, which is quite a good sample size. The Diamine Inkvent bottles are 12. Um, whatever, what else do I have? Inkvent is 12. These small uh, Urban bottles are 10 milliliters. These are 12 milliliters and then these are 15. That's a good amount. A small diamine ink bottle, these ones um, are 30. So you get half of, of one of those, which to me is definitely a good size for ink because that means I can have more ink colors and not feel super guilty of having to use them. So. I will be swatching, of course, the Indigo Bunting Blue. They said it's a different formula, so we will look at what that looks like if it's a completely different color. And then I have these eight. Um, there is Atlas Moth Brown, Tulip Moth Warm, Adonis Butterfly Blue, 
Branded King Shoemaker Butterfly Blue. I used that one. That was beautiful. Queen Alexandra's Birdwing Butterfly Green. This one looks like a really saturated grass green to me. Luna Moth Green. Yep. It's definitely a very, very beautiful um, presentation for sure. Viceroy Butterfly Orange. And then lastly, the Rosy Maple Moth Pink. Let's get going. I need one tiny bit more of prep here for sure. I have stuck, put this here because I have already swatched my Diamine Inkvent calendar and I just don't want to spoil it for anyone who doesn't want to see it yet in another any other video. I am excited to open them. Wow, this is not cool. Maybe I can't, let me just remove this. Maybe that helps. Um, I, if you're not aware, then the reason why I opened up my Inkvent calendar before I actually started, um, before December, um, was not to make a video, actually. The reason why I opened it was because I am not good with surprises or I'm good with surprises if I don't know about them. But if I am, I know I have this, then I'm building up so much anticipation ahead of time that at some point um, I can only be disappointed by what I'm opening up because it's never going to be as amazing as I make it up in my mind. I'm super sorry for all of this. Okay, now we can start. Let me see if I'm in frame. Okay, this is, let me see how to write this. Lippy Dop Teran series. And Rillium. And it is November 2023. <laughs> so I guess I'm not going to start with Indigo Bunting Blue, but I'm going to put all of the Lepidopteran right here. Then I have one left on the other side. So we'll start from this side. Rosy Maple Moth Pink is the first one that I'm going to use. Okay. Oh, I... You know what? I'm really amazed by these ink bottles. I like how this, uh, this looks like it can be very, very helpful for leaks and such. Um, I'm swatching on Tomoe River paper and on mixed media paper from Kansen. Um, I cut these papers myself um, to be the size that fits the Rolodex. Oh, wow. This is a very bright, bright pink. It looks like highlighter pink to me. Um, it reminds me, oh, I need to get up and get my um, Rolodex so I can compare other colors, which is uh, something that I have noticed is also not the best for me because I need to, when I take cards out, it takes a very long time to put those back into the Rolodex. I think the next step I need to do with that is to make dividers and uh, do not care about how they are sorted in that um, Rolodex and just have greens. And then all of the green inks are in there. And that's that. This is not going to work. Where was I stuck with the anticipation? Yes. Um, I have noticed that I'm a person who, when, for instance, if, if I buy a pen and I'm excited for it, and then this pen takes five weeks to ship, the anticipation is so high for this pen 
that it will not be able to live up to the expectation that I have by that time it arrives in my house. And Aurelium. And I'm just going to write rosy maple moth pink and then have my flower right here and then here I'm gonna do the same and so with the inkvent calendar being pre-ordered or I ordered it sometime in August or even July not 100% sure um, then it gets here in at the end of what is that uh, October and then I still have to wait until December those inks need to be the bomb out of the box every single one of them otherwise I'm going to be disappointed and I know that about myself now <laughs> and so I'm doing everything in my to omit that disappointment that obviously comes with uh, anticipation and expe expectations that are not fulfilled. Okay, so now I'm wondering, is this closed? Let's just try. Yeah, looks like it. Let me just show you. So here is the uh, Rolodex, which is also weird because it always falls down. Is that normal? Uh, okay, so I have them sorted basically like a color circle light dark and such but that just is too hard to put stuff back and if I just divide them by purple pink magenta stuff like that then I'm just going to throw them in at the marker and not um, like is it going here or is it maybe going here um, and I'm just going to be fine with that method of sorting um, I think that's going to be better for my and that sounds weird mental health no that's just for my organization because all of those inks haven't been put back here I was thinking of pilot Hiroshizuku Kosumoso but I think that is more orange um, other inks in my stash are not close ah, pink eyes no pink eyes is also not the same and that's why I'm not taking them out because I'm afraid of putting them back in in kindness pink is not the same either is there anything else standing out here what is this one Edelstein Edelstein rose quartz nope more purpley and then we have here Yamabudo just as a comparison so all the the cards that I'm not where can I put this so I can compare it really easily all the cards this is the ink vent so I'm not showing you this these are not written on these have been sampled but I haven't written on the back yet and then these are the ones that I have currently inked but uh, yeah <laughs> that's a mess and needs to change for sure all right rosy moth rosy maple moth pink these names are like super long so mm, I don't know do you like this I think I do I think I like these bold colors even though they're like hoo hoo flashy flashy Viceroy butterfly orange is the next one also I I have the, the feeling but maybe I can be proven wrong that all of those inks will be quite wet uh, they seem they actually come on really nicely onto the paper doesn't feel wet no uh, here use your brain Simona they don't feel dry this is a beautiful orange oh my gosh and Aurelium I'm really really happy with these two so far even though this one is like ooh, ah, Barbie pink um, but I, I would love to see this in a pen and I would totally love to see this in a pen this is exactly my kind of orange um, 
I have a, a feeling that all of those inks here are going to be very um, saturated, which is something that I totally love. Well, besides indigo bunting blue, because we already know that that shouldn't be very saturated. Alrighty, let's see this. Oh, look, well, you can't see this, but there's a really huge uh, orange drop. I wasted ink. And Aurelium. Viceroy. Butterfly. And I guess my handwriting is so large that I also need to take up two lines. And then let's do a broad. Wow, that's not as broad as I had hoped for it. ABC and then a high ABC. Mm -hmm, I like that. I like how this dries. Where is this ink coming from? Is this just falling? Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> not good. Is this because I'm opening the bottles wrong? Mm. Oh. Oh no! Okay, I need to turn these around. Made a mess. I need to put them on the back even though the thing is not dry yet. And then I'm... Oh, maybe I can just put a white tissue up here. That will help for sure. So, this works. Okay, let's continue on. I have to say that I like this. I said this before and Aurelium and this is not because they sent me ink. You know, you know me. I uh, would probably forget halfway through the video that they did. So with Viceroy Butterfly Orange. I need to pull out the others. I used another orange. What was that called? Um, was that an, the inks that we got in the ink flight in January of 2023 when I was still subscribed. I need to check if I... <gasps> uh oh So I was going to cancel ink flight. Uh, there is not a bad reason. Like I like the product. I just... Yes. So those were oceans and wildlife and this was um, squid, cuttlefish, blue ringed octopus, vampire squid red. They were all really um, saturated as well and I used flapjack, flapjack octopus orange um, and that was really nice in the pen that I used it in. This one is more burnt orange maybe like a darker orange and I like that even more than this one because this one is so bright similar. <laughs> These two could be siblings for sure. Um, do I have anything that comes close? I'm not sure. I have a question about swatching inks. Wow, why is this falling out? This has been happening. Um, when I swatch inks, do you want me to show you comparable inks right away? Or because often when I swatch, I'm like, oh, this reminds me of that. This is Red Robin. This is more red for sure. No, Momiji is not even close. Centaur is also still way too red. Let's, let's flip over here. This one is KWZ Grapefruit. That is also too red. Peach Punch, no. Campfire cr Crackle could be the same, but Campfire Crackle is a shimmer ink or similar um, appearance. This is Flap, Flap Jack Octopus Orange. Fuyugaki is more red as well. Pumpkin Patch is lighter, but so, mm, Autumn Oak. This one doesn't have the green hue that I don't like about Autumn Oak. And it's a little bit darker. And then we're already, maybe not, 
This one is an ink that we don't get anymore. Uh, James Purdy and Sons Single Malt, but it's also not similar even. Yeah, I think that's all the inks that I have in that color range. So I don't have an ink that is similar to this one, which is perfect. Unfortunately, I won't be able to use these inks um, as early because so my plans I'm, I'm not even sure when you're going to see this video sometime in November I think beginning of December maybe but this ink is called Andorulium Luna Moth Green so when you are going to see this video it might be almost December or it already is December and I even though I opened the ink vent already, I have put it back because actually I don't even remember. I, re I think I remember the first three days. I know that I'm really looking forward to day 23, I think. Um, and I'm looking forward to many of the other days. So I can continue talking about ink vent now. <laughs> um, I hope I filmed Please don't tell me that I didn't. Um, do I want to check? I think I do. Let me check. I checked. It's there. <laughs> um, Luna Moth Green is a light, lighter green. <sighs> Does it lean towards blue? Is there blue? I probably yes. Um, it's definitely not a grass green, that's for sure, but it could be. Um, <coughs> yeah, it's lighter. I'm curious to see how this performs in a pen. So I was telling you why I'm not going to be able to use these inks soon. The first time I will be able to use them is February. So here is my plan. And I hope you enjoy watching these super long swatching videos because that's just what it's going to be from. Oh, we can see clearly. Can you see it? No, you cannot. Let me pull it closer. Yes, there is blue in this ink. Um, so December is going to be, I am going to ink up a pen all the way through to day 25 with the with the colors of the ink vent. I have put them all back into their places um, and I am uh, really looking forward to inking up one pen every day during the month of December for two reasons, because I'm not going to film it and I'm really looking forward to seeing how that feels because that is definitely one of the reasons why I'm now totally afraid of another ink, 30 inks, 30 days. Yes, I could swatch inks or do other things, but I really loved the fact that I was able to try out so many pens with so many inks during the month. So I have set a high standard for myself now. And I would, if I was going to participate again, I would love to do the same, um, but maybe not filming. And so now in December, I am not going to film me um, putting these inks into pens. I'm not using it as a transcription project, none of that at all. I'm just going to fill the pen. I'm going to write half um, an A5 page with my thoughts, why I put this pen, why I put this ink into that pen, and I will see how I feel about that. Um, and that's going to be that. So that's what I'm going to do in December. I don't really think I have any inks. Oh, maybe, 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 maybe what I'm thinking of is maybe Danuvius or something like that. What is this? Lier Sauvage is a lot darker. None of these. No, this is my favorite ink. Krishna Chennai, these are all really dark. What is this? This is Van Diemen's Honey Bee Eater Wing. Absolutely not the same. I can see that, you can see that, we can all see that. 
Firmament, Yoramiku, this one. This is the one that I was thinking of. And this is called Pannonia Patina, but it's not, not close. I think that there is another one back here that... Which one? This one. Troublemaker Abalone. Nah, not even close, I guess. And this one, the one that was behind is... I don't have that in my stash anymore. It's Ancient Song Incense, and it's a gold shimmer. So, no. Okay, so I'm I'm looking real I'm really looking forward to doing that. And then so I can elaborate a little bit more on the the reason why I opened it up before December. Queen Alexandra's Birdwing Butterfly Green. I have to write really tiny with this one, I guess. Okay one of those and a card. I don't have one yet. See? So, oh. yeah. Okay. So I might be a new Andrillium fan for sure. These inks are so saturated. Now, well, we need to wait for pen tests but swatching absolutely a fan you can send me all of your inks i'm a fan and Rillium, if you're watching this <laughs> can i be your ambassador wow love it okay this one needs to be swatched or put on there i i love the artwork too have you seen these moths is this a moth or is this, this is a butterfly, right? Beautiful. So I, I halved the circle so I didn't obstruct too much of the, um, of the images that are on top. Love them. So um, the anticipation is so high that even if it's an ink that is okay or that looks really nice, might look nice in a fountain pen, I will be disappointed no matter what because it's not the amazing ink that I have made it out to be. And that's totally on me. So what I have found or what I'm thinking of, well, first of all, I'm going to put them into pens. So I will not just swatch them, but I will also actually use them at least for one day. Even if I don't journal every day, I might just because that's definitely an incentive. But we will see how the pain levels are at that time. Butterfly green. But I know that even if I'm... No, oh, I can't even fit that on there. Green. Even if I'm in pain, um, half a um, DIN A5 page will be doable for me even with pain so so i'm swatching them so that i can open them up and i can look at them i can see what they look like and now i know what they look like there is no doubt that i might not like some of them there is no doubt that there are some that i will probably really like and I, I'm right now not anxious that I might not like these inks or that what if this was a waste of money? None of this is, is like really in my mind. I'm just excited. And that's exactly what I wanted it to be. So I didn't... It turned out to be really cool that I'm, I have a YouTube channel and that I'm able to share this with everyone else. But in the first place, I did this just so that I wouldn't be anxious about something that I should enjoy. And I will let you know at the end of December how that actually worked out, how I liked 
sharing it beforehand, swatching it beforehand, and then filling a fountain pen with the ink. Of course, this is not going to say that you won't that this is for you. Maybe it's it's really great for you to open that every day in December and you won't experience the same frustrations that I have um, when I do things like that. But I have just over time realized that this is a, a really big issue for me and I'm not able to enjoy things when that happens. So I, now that I can like eliminate that why shouldn't I so that's what's happening in December so I won't be able to use these because of course I will have all my fountain pens in use with all the December diamine inks next ink is Anderillium branded King Shoemaker butterfly blue and there should be like five more words for me to say and not be able to squeeze them in here um, Lierre Sauvage is the ink that comes to mind when I think of this one. However, I think this is more blue, of course. Not think, we can already see that. Um, I don't think I have an ink that is even close in brightness and color. Do we see one? No, no. They're all... Like either they're dark, but not, not like this. Yeah, so I'm, wow, I don't have inks that look even anything like this. So that's what's going to happen in December. And then in January, I think I already, okay, be, be careful, Simone. This is, this is a, I already know that this is a beautiful ink, so let's just dip it in there and try it. Oh, ah, how beautiful is this? This is like, ah. Oh. When I wrote with this at the pen show, I thought to myself, this is exactly the blue, why didn't I buy it? It was so crammed where their table was, and I just, and I was I went there pretty early in the day and I hadn't seen many of the other things and so I didn't go there and I didn't grab it but that worked out in my favor I guess you know sometimes there should be things that are <laughs> because you're a youtuber and you make videos so I'm um, thank you thank you again and I have Wow. Okay, January is going to be best of 2023 currently inked. So I want to fill, I, I will see. We will see how that is going to work out because some of the inks I don't even have anymore. So mm, yeah, I'm gonna try it. And if it's not going to work, maybe I'll underrelium. So, what's this called? Banded. King Shoemaker. Butterfly Blue. Oh, so pretty. Um, in I'm, I'm just going to try and see how that's going to work out. If I don't have a lot of the inks anymore that I used, well, then I just have to do second favorites. We will see. We will see. I just really liked the idea of it. And I'm just going to try it one more time and then I will decide, do I like the idea of it or do i also like the execution <laughs> banded king shoemaker butterfly 
these are definitely lubric so lubricated that uh, it's really hard for me to write fine lines with this nib and I think so I'm gonna sh check with you but I think I don't have a color that is close because I often have so many blue teals are leaning more green then J. Urban is darker also I think more green morning mist is greener wayfarer could be but it's also I think greener let's let's put this one over here greener 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 This one is, uh, I don't know, this might be similar. Again, I think there is more yellow in this one. Appetite is green. Bluegrass velvet is definitely darker. Octopus fluids Caribic is greener. I think we're getting closer, but now they're going leaning more blue again, I think. Fire and ice. What is this behind here? Cerulean? Yeah. No. No, no. And now we're getting to the, the these ones. Inspired blue. It's too blue. Yeah. Yeah, I told you. I told you I don't have oh, maybe. Sub zero, but that's a shimmer ink here. Avalone. Nope. And now we're getting into these grays. Hmm. Yuki Ak Ar Akari. Hmm. I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm so excited. So then I'm I'm going to do best off. 2023 in January of 2024 Adonis butterfly blue and then then it's February I can't even really believe that that's going to happen like that um, we'll see how I enjoy that whole process and then I will also let you know at the end of that um, currently inked period if this is good if again, if I just like the idea of it, or if I will be doing this in 2025 as well. <laughs> That's so weird. I don't even know what's going to happen in 2025. That's a blue. It looks more like an ultramarine blue. And I I don't have many opinions about these blues. I know that I'm usually more hesitant to put these colors into my fountain pens because uh, this is, it's not the same. It's not even, even close to the same, but this is more leaning towards the blue that I used in school. Um, and so somehow, I think I talked about this a lot I'm very hesitant because I'm still very sad. Oh, but this is turning purple now. Uh, I'm, I'm still... I'm over it is a little bit too harsh. Oh, I wasn't able to get enough ink off. So this is very wet. Butterfly blue. Adonis. Butterfly. Blue. I would love to hear from you in the comments down below if you have used Andorillion inks, if you have used any of their Lepidopteran series, and how they perform in fountain pens. And also, which one of those should I use first? Um, Oh, look at how this is uh, falling apart. I, I like that. Um, I like to say it that way. <laughs> 
So this is Diamine Inkvent Thunderbolt. Can you see? Yeah. Um, what other? These are way too dark. What is this one? Gray Seas could be. Well, it's not. It's not similar, but it's definitely in a similar color family. This is also falling apart a tiny bit. Um, Blue Black by Pilot is more black blue what else i thought i would have waterman serenity blue somewhere here but i guess i don't that's weird is it further nope these are all uh, way too green colorverse cat no ah well, I mean, Colorverse Cat is a shimmer ink, but it, it looks like it is a similar color family. And this one is definitely uh, leaning towards the green, uh, the, the red, like warm. Can't even talk. My. Th yeah, I don't find, I can't find um, Serenity Blue right now, which is unfortunate. I would have loved to compare it, but I think that's even more uh, red. But this, ooh, ooh. oh, it definitely doesn't dry out on the nib because I haven't used that in a while. It's lighter. I'm, let's see, okay. And Adonis, butterfly blue. Yeah, I would love to hear in the comments down below um, how, if you have used any of this series, in what pens, how they performed, what your experience was, because I guess I still have time till February to test them all out in pens. But I might, I don't want to um, commit myself right now because it's still November. And there's a long time until February. I have swatched so many beautiful inks from friends as well that I really can't wait to get into pens. So that's a problem for sure. That's like no more inks for the next five years until I fuse them all. The next one I'm swatching is Atlas Moth Brown. Atlas Moth Brown. The Atlas Moth and then Brown. Uh, from the image, it looks like a reddish brown. And from the colors here, that might be very true. Um, this would lend itself very much to a full on Andorolium currently inked month for sure. Oh, I can't wait to see how this dries, but this brown is beautiful. Nah. No, no, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. It, see the, it shades, it turns bloodish. Oh, okay. Maybe I don't like this one. We'll see. Definitely when it goes down, it's beautiful. I might not be impressed so much by it when it dries. I have this problem and I hinted at it with autumn oak. Um, for some reason there's some inks i'm not i don't have a problem with blood i just don't like the colors that these inks dry to um and it, it has something to do with the green that is in those colors um that just doesn't vibe with me at all so i don't know this shades green turns green green gray and then autumn oak has a green undertone that just cr that sounds weird it's not creeping me out but it just it's just not enjoyable for me to write with and aurelian and this one and then some browns have the same thing they dry ox blood is another oh. color from diamine that is similar well, not in color, but the the 
properties that it has exhibits when it dries are similar to atlas i can't talk atlas moth brown um, are similar to autumn oak drying it it goes towards green and that's what just doesn't doesn't sit well with me and this has a similar feeling to me so maybe this one isn't for me but that's okay there is six inks that are for me all right and so if there's one under with among them under rhodium I'm okay with that atlas moth brown and then ABC and ABC yeah so now my problem is I have I'm currently doing a no spend so far so good I haven't been tempted yet the only thing that I really am going to miss out on is um, this needs to dry I'm gonna stop the only thing that I'm really sad that I'm going to miss out on is the um, brass bear charms from the travelers company that is something that I I received the leather tags as a gift last year and I really love them I didn't think I would but I love them and I'd love to have the brass charm but since they came they seem to be coming out with them every Christmas I might just get them next Christmas that would be an option so here is Tolipi Tolipe to tolipe tolipi tolipe my german uh, pronunciation is suggesting me for me to say tolipe but who knows this one also there's gray shadows around might also not be for me but not because it's a brown i actually really like brown inks uh, just because it shade it dries in this grayish shade and also I, I'm not I don't have a problem with the gray I have a problem with the green undertones it's the green undertones that break it for me that's I have that problem a lot with browns oranges yeah that's about it but that's something that I have noticed and I cannot unnotice it and now I'm stuck because I forgot and Dorelium Tolupe 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 Moth Brown Moth Warm okay Moth Warm ABC and then I'll just do the other one go here dip it again a little and then do this one yep so that's uh that's the thing that i'm missing out i'm on a no spend so and i i probably i i have it set or my goal is to not spend any stationary fountain pen ink supplies anything until december 31st so far I'm actually really liking it I you know I'm a complicated person and I'm not sure I, I mean I'm always telling you all the things about myself so I can also tell you this but when I know I can spend money and there is sales I'm always really antsy and very anxious is not the right word but but also maybe it is um, that I might miss a really great deal and then I keep doom, no, doom scrolling is not the right word uh, I keep scrolling I keep comparing prices even though I don't even really know what I want I don't really think I need anything but it's a sale I need to check I need to check and um, 
I sometimes really get lost in that in that feeling and I don't enjoy that actually <laughs> especially now when I'm watching from the sidelines uh, I notice how much that affected me last year um, when I was oh I got this really great deal on a narwhal and then I got this then I agonized maybe is not the right word maybe no let's just be real I agonized over the fact that I might get a really bad deal on a Lamy 2000 and then I purchased a stupid gift certificate so it would be even cheaper and then they didn't reduce it to the price they reduced it during their Independence Day sale that was like very anxiety inducing and I don't need that kind of life <laughs> like it's just fountain pens let's be real and let's just stop for a moment and think what you're like we I'm talking about me in the third person plural because that makes me feel better uh, but it, it was just me and now I'm here I'm watching everybody else buying things and I don't feel any bad feelings at all like I don't feel like I'm missing out I'm I, I know I'm sitting here on the sidelines this is turning red I like this it it reminds me a bit of um, Pennsylvania Fieldstone from Birmingham Penco but n not as it reminds me of it but it's not the same absolutely um, but it looks like a it has some pink on undertones this one even though I was afraid it wouldn't dry the way I, I like it I think I might like this a lot and this one now that it's dry also is surprising to me so I will definitely try that one as well it's not one that I rule out at first and it's not as green as it appeared in the beginning this is cuttlefish brown I don't think they're similar um, space Leica might be uh, it has in this swatch it has similarities but on the side it doesn't and now we are getting to the green ones dominant industry winter wood is already too red and I think that's all Yamaguri might be a good to compare it to just just to see it and I think that's that's all the inks that I have right here um, I don't think I have anything that is even remotely close to Tolipi Tolipe moth warm maybe here what is this one nutmeg Van Diemen's harvest nutmeg this is more yellow Um, I'm looking for um, Pennsylvania Fieldstone here it is I think Pennsylvania Fieldstone you see where I get the idea from it's also there's like these dark halos around here but of course Pennsylvania Fieldstone is a lot more purple in in the site we we will see how that will turn out in a fountain pen and then on this paper it's definitely not even close to pink and now this is all the Lepidopteran series and now I'm going to swatch indigo bunting blue that's the last ink I'm swatching and then I'm going to say goodbye and go <laughs> this video has been way too long already but I really love making them so I hope you enjoy watching the long rambly videos watching videos um, this fields dryer ha huh, interesting and now I dipped it in and brought out a lot more of the ink for sure um, I don't think it's even close to the one that I had last time so we will see that we will figure it out when we get there um, where was I stuck yes so I have these really weird feelings and I 
get in this kind of frenzy and then I keep scrolling and keep scrolling and I don't enjoy that. And I didn't even consider the fact that I would be sitting out all of those um, uh, sales, Black Friday, Fountain Pen Day, whatever. But, and I have, I can clearly say that this blue is very, very close in color to the back swatch on the, on the lid. We will have, to, I'm going to do that again because that means that I don't really have to put a swatch sticker on there because Andrew William seems to be able to get the colors right, which is cool. Oh, ew. Um, what else? Yeah, so I'm actually, if I can do, I'm, I'm really thinking of maybe helping myself out next year again, because that, let me write it. I don't want to talk in these like fragment. I always talk in fragmented sentences, but I don't have to drag it out and make it even worse. Um, I, if, if actually putting myself under a no spend for these sales and it helps me to just enjoy the months and the season even more, I'm all for that. I don't, my collection is quite big at the moment for me quite large right now and I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything um, and so I don't really need to be scrolling like a mad woman and finding the greatest deals on something and then being even tempted to buy it when I don't need it. So telling myself, no, I'm not spending is actually really good. And I am not, I, I think I talked about this in, in another video, um, that even if I give myself a budget of saying, okay, you can spend this amount of money during this month, it's not the same. I'm still like looking for that thing that I can spend the money on. Um, and so just for me, it's better to be black and white. Okay, I'm spending or okay, I'm not spending. And knowing that about myself helps me in these situations. So um, I know a lot of people who say that that's not for them and that's totally fine. I know we're all very different people and that's good. And just because it works for me, right now doesn't mean it works for you. And just because it works for me right now, doesn't mean it works for me next year either. It's just this time around it's working. And so I am going to enjoy this much more than, or this month of November more than I have in previous years. Okay. Wow. Okay. Now this is, so I'm, I'm, I need answers. I'm going to send this video when it's published to Andorillium and I would like to know if the ink that Ink Journal received, is this what it looked like or has had it already like lightened up so much that this is the original color or is that just the reformulation? Because these two colors do not even look similar in any way. But if I look at the this swatch, oh, <laughs> I shouldn't scrape it up, then for sure, this is what I see here. So this is definitely this color. But this is not even, not even close. Wow. And this one doesn't, does remind me very much so of uh, Robert Oster Gracie's uh, in the Look at how it separates into this purple, blue, reddish hues. I see those here as well. Um, I, yeah. 
So I'm going to dig these out in February and I will definitely at least put one of those inks into a pen. But so they have been, I received them on October 30th. Oh, look at the, ooh, look at this. Can you see that? Blue, teals and purples, love it. Um, it. I received them on October 30th. So if I pull them up back out in uh, February, they have sat in my stash for three months. Um, and then we can see if the colors have changed. Maybe I should actually do that as a long-term test and then take them out after six months and see what they, how they look, what they do. Um, so that w even if Enderillium says they have um, like changed their formula, their inks are reliable. I can still do this test so that I can confirm and say, yes, you are correct. They are still the same color. I really, I'm surprised to be honest. I, I like all of these colors. Um, if I would have to um, rank them, I would say this is my very favorite with this one. These two are very, very amazing. I like this swatch. I'm afraid that this might be light, but I would love to give this a try. Same with this one. This one reminds me a lot of Pannonia Danuvius, pa Patina. And I, mm, I haven't put Patina in a pen because I'm afraid of it. So this again will be one that needs to be taken one step at a time. Um, even though this one is so, so, so bright and it looks like a highlighter pink, I, this has something about it. It's not a very like deep color. Like this one splits into several colors. This one has some haloing around it. Uh, this one is interesting. This one with the darker shading, I love. This one is quite flat. I would love to see how this performs in a pen. I'm just talking about the front here. Um, I would love to see if I have the same issues in drying with this ink. Like, is it going into the, the green hues or is that just right now? Well, I'm going to be using, what am I using? For journaling, I'm using um, OK Fools. For my ink review journal thing, I'm going to use Cosmo Air Light. Maybe for letter writing, I'm using Sansin, but I'm not sure I like this ink on this paper. I like this one. Um, I would love to see if the uh, splitting of the color appears in fountain when I use it in a fountain pen as well. So yeah, I am very, very surprised that I really like the look of all of these inks. I didn't expect that to happen. Um, yeah, so wow, great job, Anderolium. I'm, I'm really grateful you sent those samples to me. You know that I'm not just saying this because they sent them for free. I'm, I'm actually really impressed. Um, and I cannot wait to get these pen inks into pens and see how they hold up in pens, how they perform, what their um, properties are. Um, and I will definitely keep you in the loop on the performance of these inks. Alrighty, I think I finished all my train of thoughts. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time of, out of your days and watching all of my long rambly videos. Um, it always feels like I'm sitting next to someone who is swatching inks with me and we're chatting back and forth 
And I don't have that in my real life here. And so being able to get the, the deep dive, the geeking out, out of my system about once a week, ah, it just ah feels so good to my heart. Thank you so much. I'm chatting with you in the comments and I will see you soon. I know that, ta-da, here's a plug for my Kofi. If you want to support me, you can go there. Or if you are interested in Elden Derillium inks, I know that Atlas is carrying them and I have a code with them and that is Simona 10. So if you're looking for some of these, check Atlas stationers and grab them there. I will see you soon. Until then, bye.